Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude. I'm out in Princeton right now. Um, as you can see, I'm on this bridge that kind of leads into town. Um, the water is quite low right now. It actually looks really refreshing. I'd love to dip my feet in there, but that's not why we're here. We are here for fossils, and uh, I got a tip from a local collector in town who owns a little rock shop, and uh, he pointed me out to this white patch sticking out of the side of the road here. So we are going to check that out. And I gotta be careful now as I'm walking a very small path. But you can see here, there's white rock. It's kind of um, fallen out of the side. A lot of it's covered in whatever the water's brought down, the slime. But apparently there's a decent amount of plant material that can be found in this white rock. Um, plant material or something else. He said something about it possibly being of um, ocean deposit because he says it's like chalky or something. Um, you can see now there's some uh, some black on the rock. Kind of looks like um, that of a plant fossil, the, the kind of carbon left over. So we'll go over to this drier site because I don't really, I'm not a fan of the algae or um, whatever's growing in there. Oh, it's a cute little ecosystem though. There's some dragonflies and whatnot. Here's some um, stuff that's fallen off. It's looking a bit drier than the rest. As gross as this water is, um, splashing on me, nice and refreshing. It's a hot day. Oh, it's a big spider. Um, see it? It's huge. I think it might got an egg sac or something. Um, so we're just gonna keep looking. Again, just some nondescript black material. I'm really baking here. It's a hot one. Okay, so here we are. I'm just gonna whip out my hammer because I I'm not gonna assume that anything is just out in the open. It just might be minerals. I'm sure he said plants. Gotta remember what I'm looking out for. I'm like whack a mole here. I keep forgetting that some sites in Princeton aren't you like you got to you got to put effort into finding this stuff. Here's something I think um I'm so used to uh a few of the sites being so um well 
collect like there's just a lot of material there um, but then you, you get to other sites in Princeton and you have to work <laughs> you have to work to get your um, fill uh, let me check out there's something up here catching my eye hmm That might be a leaf, or just some, some uh, mineral stain or whatever. Bingo. So this is this is what we're looking for. Then you can see it is a jumble of organic material. You can um, you can point out some sticks and some nice bits of textured wood like that. Um, so let's see if there's there's another piece right here. Nothing too spectacular, but I like I like how it's formatted. Like, you can see on this piece here, it's a lot darker because there's a lot more of them there. Um, here's a piece. Lots and lots of stuff. So it seems like they're only exposed in one layer, or preserved in one layer, rather. Um, so that makes it harder to um, collect, but luckily we do have some nice pieces here. Not really going for anything too spectacular. Let's see if there's any more this way. I'm starting to see some stuff. There's a nice bit of wood, almost three-dimensional, it's sticking out there. So let's add those to the bag. I'm starting to get some like, oh, flies attacking me now. Let's see if we can get anything better than just a stick. More sticks. More sticks. I actually enjoy this type of rock for the um, um, the fact that whatever's preserved on it um, really stands out. Yeah, we can take that one. Like, say, if you got a nice leaf on this white rock, it would look spectacular. Not that I'm uh, gonna find a leaf or anything. I wonder if some of this is, uh, like, insect part. I doubt it, but, ooh, I see something interesting. That looks like something, like, got wood, maybe a nut, or just weird shape.
a lot of spiders, a lot of flies. Not fossils though, um, actual spiders. You can see as I'm raking the rocks with my hammer, they're just running out from everywhere. Okay, I think I've had my fill. There's not much besides plant material scattered around. But, it was nice to see that we've got another site here to add to the list. A very somewhat pretty one at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little hunting adventure and be sure to check out the rest of my fossil hunts on my channel. I'm going to maybe one or two other sites this today, so they'll be up as well. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.